This is Courtney Rowland for Rivals.com. I'm here at Hightower with Hightower quarterback and A&M commit Braylon Addison. Braylon, a tough fought game tonight. Came out a little short, yet I still saw you in the fourth quarter limping off the field, but you still wouldn't sit down. You were cheering on your team. Coaches were asking if you were okay, but you were still trying to lift everyone's spirits. Expand on your leadership role based on what I just kind of talked about and how you know you just have that never quit attitude. I mean, uh, all season long, and even last year as a junior, you know, Coach has been preaching to me. Coach McGinnis and Coach Al, they've been preaching to me. You know, they just want me to step up and be more of a vocal leader. And I'm more of a quiet person. So, you know, in the games, you know, there's not so many people, you know, tuning in to me. So I try to, you know, talk a little bit more. Because, you know, it's at practice, you know, you're trying to figure out things. So I really don't say too much because everybody's trying to get a grasp of everything. But when the game comes, I just try to say a little bit more, you know, lift the spirits, you know. I didn't have my best game today, but the defense played well. You know, offense, we just couldn't pick it up. So, And come time next week, what will you do as the quarterback, as the leader of this team? How will you lift everyone's spirits up and get everyone focused for the next game? Um, you know, we got, we're on two right now, and uh, that's, this is the first time Hightower's been on two in a while. So, you know, we just got to go back to the drawing board, you know, keep listening to our coaches, you know. We make a lot of mental mistakes out there on the field sometimes. We don't take our coaching all the way in. And, you know, next week is next week. So we just got to forget about this game and keep moving forward. You know, we still got that main goal to win the state championship. And these three games don't mean the thing towards that goal. But, you know, it, it hurts to lose also. And, you know, we want to win every game. So we just got to keep our heads on straight and keep our eyes on the prize. I was talking with fellow A&M commit Matt Davis throughout the game. And, you know, he has such faith in you. And just oh he'll 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 pull through and he's got a he's there's he's got a winner attitude about him. Talk about that between you and Matt and just all of the guys of your recruiting class and how how that faith is there in each other and that teamwork. Uh, you know we just first time we ever see seen each other play. All of us you know I watched Trey Williams play, Matt Davis, Jordan Richmond, Mikey Matthews, Corey Thompson. You know all of us we just we had a. It's something about us, we have that dog in us, you know. We just never quit, you know. I always tell my guys, you know, just give me one more shot. You know, I might mess up throughout the game, but at the end, I, w I still want that one, one last shot. And I never shy away from competition. So, you know, it's the same way, you know. We all, our recruiting class, I feel like every everyone in that recruiting class wants to make the big play. And I feel like that's the best thing about us, you know. Nobody's going to quit in the end, no matter if we're down by 30 or 7 or 3. You know, we all want to make that last play. And you guys already seem so close, and you are already building and forming that connection, showing up at each other's games. How is that going to carry over next year, you know, when you have to be in sync with Matt and y'all are already forming just that bond, that relationship right now? Um, from the time we started talking about us all going to the same school, it was about our brotherhood. You know, we all been playing against each other so long since elementary school, playing against each other, against each other in football, or basketball, and, uh, you know, to finally be able to join the same team and join forces, you know, it, it's it's – pretty exciting so you know we just wanted to become one and a brotherhood you know all the guys we got coming from D Dallas Louisiana here Texas you know we just all one big brotherhood have you been keeping up with the news right now concerning A&M and the conference realignment yes uh, you know the SEC news that's real big right now and I've been watching it like you know so many people ask me questions you know so many people doubt that I'll, I'll still be here in the end still stick with A&M but I'm not going anywhere no matter if we play with the SEC Big 12, ACC, the WAC, no matter what, I'm still, I'm still an Aggie. And that, that realignment will directly affect your, your class. Mm -hmm. How is that, you know, is that exciting to you? Or what do you think of the thought of possibly going to the SEC? Um, you know, the Big 12 is a, is a competitive conference. And, uh, you know, a SEC is one of the toughest conferences also. You know, it's just a bigger jump for us. You know, it'll help us a lot, you know, with the Longhorn, getting that Longhorn network. You know, it's going to help them in recruiting a lot. And so, you know, for us to make that big move to the ACC, bigger competition, you know, more TV time for us, it'll help us out in recruiting a lot. So, you know, we just want to, you know, play with the best. You know, they say to be the best, you got to beat the best. So that's what we want to do, going to the ACC and try to beat the best talent. Have you, are you going to be going to the A&M game this weekend or any coming up? Oh, uh, yeah, I, um, me and actually all my coaches, we're going to go to the SMU game this week, you know, hang out with the other commits, you know, just try to get this loss out of my head. So, I mean, it was a tough one tonight. We didn't pull it out, but, you know, we got a game next week and we got to keep moving forward and keep our eyes on the prize. What's your prediction for the A&M SMU game? What, what do you think the score is going to be? Um, I'm going to take A&M 30-14. All right, great. Thanks. This has been Courtney Rowland for Rivals.com.